Hello, welcome back. Today's video, I'm doing my Skylar video for the month of May. May. The scent this month is called Nude Skin, and I'm so excited because this month's scent has vanilla in it, and we know how I feel about vanilla. The inside of the box says, I radiate confidence, and it says that this scent is radiant, warm, and inviting, like a tender caress, leaving you bathed in a sense of comfort and intimacy. This fragrance embodies the familiar scent of warm, radiant skin. Packaging is beautiful as always. Pineapple splash? What the fuck? Every perfume I'm reviewing these days has a splash of pineapple. I guess this is just like, that's just like what's in, I guess. It's like the scent of everyone. Everyone wants pineapple in their perfume. So the top notes of this are pineapple splash, papaya smoothie, and star fruit. Very strange top notes. Tiger fruit? Star fruit? Really? Like, it's so weird to me. And then we have the middle notes, tiger orchid, coconut blossom and frangy panty and then the base notes are warm vanilla golden amber and upcycled cedar due to the name of this scent nude skin it's giving it's giving this is gonna be a really nice skin scent also says that it layers well with boardwalk delight and lime sands and i will be the judge of that i have both of those so let's just uh give it a little whirl we're just gonna put like multiple patches of this so i can mix it with different scents and then smell it on its own first because like we have a we have a scent party going on today but so far i really do love the way this smells and it smells pretty powerful like usually skylar scents are really soft this one's pretty pretty out there for me i'm getting that pineapple really strong that splash of pineapple is doing a lot but it smells very fruity in the beginning it's very nice it's not like a overpowering kind of fruity or like a sickly kind of fruity very light kind of fruity i'm kind of enjoying this a lot i have a whole drawer full of skylar roller balls at this point so i do have both of the scents that it wants me to layer them with and once this all dries down and sets in we shall smell it while this is a vanilla scent the vanilla is not very sweet and it's more so rounding out the other notes of this perfume and there aren't many like skin notes in here so i'm assuming that they wanted the warm vanilla the golden amber and the upcycled cedar to kind of work together to kind of round this out to make it more of like a skin scent and i'm obsessed it does smell radiant and warm and inviting and i just want to kind of cozy up to this like on a sunday morning and like editing me because like i'm probably going to be editing this sunday morning and like it just smells nice and summery as well like it's not a typical summer scent but it's so unique to me because you do get like warm and inviting but you also get like this fruitiness and like this brightness in the beginning that's just so beautiful like this is such a beautiful scent so i'm gonna put lime sands on this side a little bit and i'm gonna put boardwalk delight on this I made it smell like fresh and clean. <laughs> I did get this a part of their scent club. I'm subscribed. I pay for this monthly. Figured I should mention that because everyone thinks my content's like sponsored and that I'm making millions off of this. I'm not. I literally just make these videos because I enjoy it. So I didn't choose the best place. I'm getting clean cleaner vibes when I mix the two. Like I like lime sand separately. Like obviously I like lime sand separately. But together, I don't love. It's giving summer. It's giving, you know, beach. And like you have like a, a corona and you have like a little lime on your corona and you're smelling your corona. Like that's what it's giving me for some reason. I don't know. Am I weird? Yes. But that's just what I'm getting. And then on the Boardwalk Delight side, I like this combo a lot better. It kind of brings out the sweetness of the nude skin kind of mixes very well with that i'm kind of excited to see how this will pair with like something like the fleur vanilla skin considering it's also like one of those skin scents that just smell better as you wear them i'm about to use up another one of these and like i can't i'm just stuck on it like i just love it that much and i keep using that it's very summery without being too fruity too lemony too tropical too coconutty like it's just like that perfect amount of like tropical mixed with like skin and like beautiful vanilla and like amber 
has like this light sweetness mixed with the tropicalness and I love it and then Boardwalk Delight just brings out that sweetness even more like this is definitely a combo I can see myself wearing just cause like the summertime we all like guess I guess what are you cause like it's hot right and I feel like this might smell better as you get sweaty I know that sounds like gross it's like ill but like a perfume mixes better with your body chemistry and like what's your body chemistry sorry to tell you but your body chemistry is sweat girl that's why you put it on all of the freaking sweaty points of your self <laughs> So what are my final thoughts on this scent? I say that this smells really nice. It's a very unique scent to me. I have never smelled anything that comes close to this. And I feel like Skylar does a really good job at that. When I smelled Lime Sands for the first time, I also thought I have never smelled anything like that before. Same with Boardwalk Delight. And I love that they test the waters with these Skylar Scent Club. Like, if we really like something, all we gotta do is bother them enough and they'll make it a full size and I appreciate it. However, I have not come across anything in the same kind of uniqueness as boardwalk delight this is amazing and if you've never smelled it before i recommend trying it out maybe buying like a small rollerball this can lean a little coconutty and usually i'm not a fan of that but i love it <laughs> but nude skin is more like serious if that makes sense boardwalk delight is more of like a soft sweet like nostalgic kind of scent and mixing them together makes it more of like a grown-up scent so i appreciate that because sometimes i want like a sweet scent but the setting that i'm going to does not match like a sweet scent you know and i also want to make a video on another perfume that i have i will get it so your girl is broke but she has heard many good things about bianca latte and i've heard that the tasking caramel cascade perfume kind of hits like a similar mark to that and when i first got this i fucking hated it let me be 100 percent honest i hated it i thought this smells way too much like root beer i don't understand why people enjoy this i think it's way too strong and it is it's a very strong very powerful perfume and you get a lot of it so great but my recommendation is get a sample if you can because this is a lot let me read the notes of this to you. The top notes are caramel and milk. The middle notes are tonka bean and honey. And the base notes are vanilla and white musk. If you want to get more of like that caramelly milk and creamy vibe, I would say spray it far away from your skin. If you want more of that root beer, spray it closer because I feel like that really does make a difference in how you smell this perfume. I let it sit in the bottle too for a while because I feel like once I got it, the bottle was really hot because like it's hot in miami like everything's hot so everything sits outside and it gets like boiling temperature hot and then i bring it inside and i sprayed this while it was still kind of warm and i feel like that kind of messed me up in not enjoying it so give it a moment maybe like wait it out <laughs> when you get it because i know you're gonna be excited and you're gonna want to smell it give it a moment because it can get a little strong if it's like warm I don't hate it. I don't love it. I feel like there's a few things I would change about this, but I want to try the Latafa Eclair, I think. Latafa Eclair is like another dupe for Bianco Latte, so I want to try that one, see where I stand on that one. But as far as this one goes, I can wear this. I can't wear it every day. It's definitely not one of those like everyday wears. I've never gotten any compliments wearing this, but I think it smells really nice if you spray it in low quantities because it can be one of those that's like i'm sick of this so i don't know it's good sometimes if you overspray it can get a little sickly but i kind of really enjoy this and every time i use it i use it sparingly so this is gonna last like 10 years but it was a fun perfume to try and i hope you enjoyed the reviews of these perfumes if you have any more questions or perfumes you want me to try out please leave them in the comment section down below and thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and i will see you guys in my next video bye also, it says that this layers well with boardwalk. <laughs> okay, okay, let's let's mix. Oh shit, cause cause I can. I'm about to be an 
a lot of you won't appreciate that. I just did that, but I enjoy it. Mm -hmm.